Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to be sharing the August 2022 updates for the JetPage platform. There are three major updates included this month. The first one being image compression, which is now saving up to 95% or more in file size for any image that you upload to the JetPage platform. You can see this image is 859 kilobytes from our original test. And now that exact same image is now compressed down to just 21.5 kilobytes. We're going to show you a full before and after test using GT metrics to show you how we were able to save over 95% file size just from image compression alone. In addition to the image compression before and after, we are also going to be going over our new widgets here that you can see on the blog post. We have a table of contents which can scroll to any of your content on the page. And we also have this affiliate disclosure which you can customize to your liking and it can show on any of your posts and it's sticky to the right side on desktop and it appears at the top on mobile. So let's jump into the before and after to show you the power of our new image compression feature. Hi everyone, this is me documenting what the JetPage platform prior to the auto image compression and image resize feature was released. So what we have here is a test of a very heavy page and I've used the same image actually uh, multiple times. So you see this pink, this large pink JetPage logo. This is an 859 kilobyte uh, size image. It's very large. It's larger than it needs to be both in size and in file size. It's uncompressed totally. So it's close to one megabyte for each of these. And what I have done for this test is I've added seven of these and I ran it through GT metrics right here. And so we ran that test. Uh, as you can see, we still scored quite well with the web vitals completely passing. Um, but as you can see here, if you scroll down is that the page is 7.71 megabytes, quite a large page size for any website and any blog post. And you can see that our fully loaded time is still extremely fast at just 770 milliseconds. All right, so we have applied the image compression update to JetPage and we are simply going to copy and paste from Google Docs the exact same content that we did in the original post. You'll see these are all the full size, full quality, 859 kilobyte size images each. And all we're going to do is we are going to publish this post. Now, because this is copy and pasted from Google Docs, publishing will take longer now because we are resizing, compressing, and converting every single image you see on this page to WebP, which is Google's proprietary next-gen image format that is meant to be smaller, faster, and retain more of the quality. So you will notice a bit of a delay when you click publish, but just wait for it to publish. The results and the boost in performance is so worth it. So after this is done publishing, we're going to view the post and we are going to immediately run it through GT metrics to compare the page size to before. Now, just to remind you, the page size was around 7.7 .7 megabytes in the original test, uh, but you can scroll back in this video and you can see the original size. I can see that these images have been compressed. We do have all seven of the images here. Everything seems to be compressed. So let's just run it uh, directly through the GT metrics and let's see um, how big this page is compared to the original. So hi all, just an update real quick. So. I realized that I had used the large image for also the featured image in the new test, but in the original test, I had used this image from Unsplash, which is actually only 163 kilobytes. So in our new test with the post image compression update, we actually are using an 859 kilobyte image as opposed to 163. So um, just want to point that out again, here's the original and you can actually see it. these images are still full quality. And when I inspect this, I'll see that this image is 859 kilobytes each, and that's for every single image. Now looking at the new one, which we just published right here, if you were to look at the new images, you'll see now they are down to just 21.5 kilobytes, and they are the same size, at least when you are viewing the post, uh, but obviously they are much smaller. So let's go into GT metrics. We are literally going to copy and paste that exact URL that we just got from our test and we're going to let this run through 
All right, so here we have our results. We literally just published this a few seconds ago, uh, but scrolling down, you can now see that our total page size is just 352 kilobytes and only 182 kilobytes of images as compared to over seven megabytes of images in the exact same post. We didn't have to do anything. JetPage does all the magic when it comes to resizing, compressing, converting to WebP. You can see that our loaded time uh, dropped by maybe a tenth of a second down to 641 milliseconds. And that's pretty good for a page that has um, you know, so many Im images on it. So, you know, pretty good results. And again, you don't have to do anything. This is just included with every single jet page account, every image that comes through the platform, whether that be, you know, your featured image, your logo, your blog content is now going to be compressed, turned into WebP, and hopefully save about 95% or more in file size. All right, so aside from the image compression update, which is greatly gonna boost the performance of all JetPage customer sites, we've also added a table of contents and an affiliate disclaimer widget. So basically what these features entail are that with the table of contents, it takes your heading ones and your heading twos and it creates main topics and sub topics for your table of contents, which users can click and they can instantly scroll to that portion of your uh, content or article. And for the affiliate disclaimer, we have a boilerplate affiliate disclaimer message here, which you can have always showing at the right side. If you're looking at your post on desktop, it does show at the top of your page on mobile. But if you want to edit this, simply click edit and you can type anything you want, anything you want into here. And so I'm just gonna save this. I'm gonna republish this since we've completed our compression test. And then we're gonna look at the page now you can see it publishes much faster. We've already done the compression and we are viewing the page with the new table of contents and the disclosure. You'll see it gets stickied here on uh, the right side. When I click this, I scroll down um, basically to wherever uh, this content is on the page and you can see this disclosure is showing up everywhere uh, as I'm reading through the content just to make sure that uh, users know you know, your affiliate disclosure or disclaimer, whatever you want to provide there. So those are two new widgets along with the image compression, which is part of this update. We have a lot more exciting features that are coming very, very soon. Would love to hear your feedback on this. And thank you so much for being a JetPage customer and being part of this journey. Thanks to all of your customer feedback, we've been able to iterate and to improve the product every single week. And a lot of the features you see here are actually from customers who have requested them and who have helped us to shape JetPage into the platform it is today. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you check out our playlist for more.